Migrate to Jazz gives tips on how to migrate from other testing frameworks like Jasmine or Mocha to Jest, and it also suggests this Jazz code modes package to help you migrate in it. The architecture guide is this awesome video that explains the Jazz architecture. So I'll jump to troubleshooting and I'll go in detail in this guide. So when something goes wrong and you don't know why, it's very useful to debug the Jazz tests. So in this guide, it's showing how to start the debugging mode. The most basic type of debugging is to use the Chrome to debug. So I'll go to the previous example. And I'll run it in the bug mode. Oh, actually, before I run, I must add some debugger. Okay, so here I'll open the inspect tab of the Chrome. And here it is, my just running. Just starts with a breakpoint on the first line, so you can, so it gives you time to open your debugging tool and, and, and inspect it. So I'll continue and it will stop on the non OK test in this debugger. OK, and actually, here I don't have any, any variables, I, I have only the true and false, so, but it's working the debugger. The run and bend tells Jazz to run the test in the same process, otherwise you had to open several debugging windows just to debug each test. So this is debugging in VS Code we saw on the previous episode, actually I have the config here. So in the first example you have to start the debugging mode manually, as we did here for the Chrome. And Instead of using Chrome, we use we use the Visual Studio Code to attach the process. I'll skip this part because I already done it on on the on the last episode, and I'll go to the other example which starts the debugging and also debugs it. So you don't have to to type the code here. You don't have to type this code here to start the debugging. So if I replace this launch with this code, it will try to run my jazz on this root folder, but we want to run it on the on the watch plugins folder. So let me enter it. Actually, let me copy this so we have. So I'll open my Visual Studio Code inside this Watch Plugins folder. And here I'll use this config. Okay, actually let me create one project for the troubleshooting.
And now I'll open my Visual Studio Code inside the Watch Plugins folder. I'll also need to install the dependencies. Okay, so let's start the debugging process. And it works. I had only to start the debugging. I didn't have to run any command, and it goes and debugs and it stops on my breakpoints. Perfect. If you are using Windows, this is the command you have to use. And also, we can debug the jazz used inside the Create React app. I already have Create React app installed, so I'll just create a new project. Open a window inside the React Jest project. Okay, and we must use this config. And I'll place a debugger. Okay, time it out. Let let me try to run again. Okay, that's weird. Let me try to run the test without the debugger. It already starts on the watch mode. Okay, 
try again. Okay, it works. I don't know. Uh, I had to. I had to run it one time prior to the bug, but but it's working. Okay, it stops on the React online. And here we can see the creative function. Well, we can inspect the div, it's an HTML div element, so it's working. If you are using WebStorm, you can use the JS run the bug configuration that's predefined in WebStorm. If you're having caching issues with Bubble, you must try to use the no cache option. If you're having problems with promises, uh, the most common issue is promises implementations conflicting with each other. So just suggest you to set one global promise and use only one package for promises, in this case the promise. And also you can increase the timeout, so if you have some long running process you can increase the timeout and run your tests if you have an watchman issues you can try to run without watchman and see if it works If your if your tests are slow on Docker or continuous integration, it suggests you to try to run with the running band. That means it will run in only one process, so it might work. Or you can also increase the number of workers used for Jest. Jest works fine with Node six or later. And if you're using some old version, you, you can set some custom environment that supports Node 4, such as Jest Environment Node. If you're having problems with coverage path ignore patterns, you, you have to make sure you're not using the Babel plugin Istanbul. And when you define tests, you have to make sure they are defined synchronous, otherwise Jest won't see them, won't collect them for the tests. So let me try to use this set timeout i'll place inside the watch plugins okay i'll place here with the okay so i'm um, inside the watch plugins folder and you can see that it only runs the okay and not okay and not the passes 